You need to be figuring out what you're going to do. I don't know how this works, Savon. You clearly have way more experience than getting hoes pregnant than me. So you tell me what to do. Why are you yelling at me? You're the one opening up boxes and not reading the manual. How was I supposed to know a vagina came with instructions? Well, the first thing you want to do is wear a condom, my boy. And if you can't do that, simply pull out. 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 One kid and five abortions later. Did you simply forget to pull out? You're upset and you're saying hurtful things. It's understandable. Did this hoe take a pregnancy test? No, it's only been a few weeks. Have you talked to her? No, I blocked her on everything. Why would you do that? Because I was disgusted with myself after. And I realized I am actually gay. Every time I looked at it, it reminded me of an oyster. Why does it look like that? Yeah, you gay as hell because ain't no straight man asking that question. Well, if this girl is actually pregnant, can you take us to the clinic, Simone? Hell no. You're the one out here experimenting. You do it. Experiments on what? Nothing. It didn't sound like nothing. I heard Savon say something about getting girls pregnant. Did you get somebody pregnant, Brian? No. I was so hoping you were going to be honest with me. I can't snitch on you if you're going to lie. I'm not lying, Savon. I said what I had to say, Brian. Be a man and handle your situation. Pregnant girls experimenting a situation? That's enough ammunition to bring to mama. Kyra, you don't get tired of snitching. No. I get off on watching mama tear you apart. And if I say her name five times in a row, she will appear like Candyman. Kyrie, I've already said it once. Four more to go. What do you want? Hmm. How about you tell me what I want? Mama. Oops. Three more to go. Oh my God. Can you stop? <laughs> no, because I love my mama. Uh oh. <laughs> Two more to go. Kyrie, I will beat your ass again. Mama. Uh, shit. I'll cut the grass for a week. Oh, a little sweat ain't never hurt nobody. I think I've said her name four times in a row now. One more to go. I'll do all your chores for a year. Mm, tempting, but no. You have five seconds to make me feel good. <laughs> do something to make me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck that. Mama. Oh. You don't love your life. Why is there yelling in my kitchen? <laughs> Brian got something he want to tell you. Oh, I wonder what it is. I already know it's going to piss me off. But y'all love that, right? Y'all love that shit. Y'all love when I have to put my hands on y'all. So what is it, Brian? Go ahead. Mom, I might have gotten this girl pregnant. I'm sorry, what the fuck did you just say to me? up with this girl a few weeks ago and um I, uh, Brian put some damn bass in your voice I cannot quite hear you clearly now come again would you start speaking if I reach over this counter and grab your ass Ma, she might be pregnant I don't know you confuse me you confuse me because you're supposed to be gay which is already a bit much for me, but now you want to be gay and do straight things. Pick a damn sexuality. Uh, I'm gay. Okay, okay, all right, all right, that's nice to know. I can't, I, I can't, I cannot, I cannot. Make it go away, make it go away before I make you go away. Make it go away. Yes, ma'am. This shit better be cleared up by next weekend.
What is your favorite name was again? Nia. Nia. I'm Savon. Oh, I know exactly who you are. I've been trying to sleep with you ever since my freshman year in high school, but I guess Versace beat me to it. Did you happen to take a pregnancy test? <laughs> I took one. Oh, yeah, I want the result. Um, well, my mama took me to the clinic and um, it looks like I'm too much pregnant. Get rid of it. Excuse me? Brian is not ready to be a father. That's too bad and it's not my problem that he's not ready to take responsibility for what he did. So, yeah, my body, my choice. Nia, my mom will kill me and you. And Brian, you wouldn't even have to claim it. I was really trying to get to Savan, but I took you because, I mean, you really do look just like him. The only reason why I slept with you is because I can't sleep with Savan. But to know that this baby is related to Savan, it makes me very happy. But you can deny it. I just need Savan to claim it. Delusional. You can't keep it. Are you a man telling me, a woman, what to do with my body? Yes. I'm not interested in being a teenage father. I don't care. I don't care. I'm keeping this baby, and you're going to have to deal with me and the baby, gay and all. Okay, listen. How old are you? You know how old I am, Savine. 16. I have loved you since I was 14. See, you ain't ready to be a mom. You have your whole life ahead of you. You care about my life? That's inspiring and all, but my mama supports me being 16 and pregnant, and we already picking our baby names, so it's a done deal. I got a support system. I'm good. All I need is you. Savon, you said handle it. I'm trying to handle it, but it doesn't look like I'm handling it. So, Versace, how is Savon in bed? I'm going to offer you some advice. You are still a child and should not be bringing a child into this world. This is coming from a bitch who was also 16 and pregnant. Okay, Brian, I tried. I'm not going to jail for putting my hands on this little ass girl. Good luck with your baby. Anyways, Savannah, you wanna help me decorate the nursery? Or what? For our baby. I'm sorry, me and Brian's baby. You know what? I gotta go. I have errands to run. So, y'all keep in touch. I can't remember the last time I've seen all my children in one room. None of you even bother to answer the phone when I call. Answer the phone for what? All you do is ask for money. Or a ride when you have your own car, but don't want to waste your gas, but want to waste everybody else's gas. Hey, not too much on my mama. Not too much on the underage females, Tommy. Or your nieces. Tell me, why are we here? I am dealing with a lot right now, and I don't have time to sit here and listen to your kids argue. Your kids? So you're above us, Tamika? Terry, shut up! I am above this. And you know I'm the wrong sister to be trying to argue with. I will air your shit the fuck out. Again, Tammy, why are we here? When did I become Tammy? That's your name, isn't it? What do you have going on that is more important than what I'm about to say? You see, I have kids that I'm actually a mother to. And right now, I'm dealing with their poor decisions in life. But I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be all right. I just prefer not to deal with you or your bullshit. Mika, what happened now? <laughs> Brian got a girl pregnant. Brian? I didn't know he had it in him. Wait, I thought he was the gay one. He is. You know who else is gay? Your twin boys. Who also think that they're Disney princesses. <laughs> I get it. You're a single mother who is divorced, has no man, can't get a man because you're always angry and bitter, I'm married, happy, and I understand. 
Your wife weighs approximately 600 pounds. God almighty. You have to put bricks under y'all's bed because of her oversized back. The last time you slept with her, she tried to climb on top of you and sent you to the emergency room for broken ribs and a crushed lung. Are you still having trouble breathing? The only person I shared that with is you, Tara. So clearly you can't keep your fucking mouth shut. How's Tarika? Did she ever find out who her baby daddy was? Tamika, I told you that in confidence. Right, you did. And he made me share it publicly. See, my nephew got him somebody pregnant. I knew he liked him some coochie. I'm proud of him. Mama, why are we here? Ah, it's been a minute since we argued. I feel like starting some shit. Tanya, tell Tamika that you slept with her ex-husband. Tanya! You slept with Michael? Tamika, no. I would never do that to you. He slept with me well after y'all's divorce. And I tell him that he was wrong for that. Like, how could you sleep with your ex-wife's sister? Tanya, how could you? He slept with me. It's the same thing, you bitch. No, it's not. He came to me. You could have said no, Tanya. It's not in my vocabulary. I love men. I am a whore. And I get it from my mama. You like this shit, don't you? Seeing us argue and be against each other, you like that. Y'all have been arguing since y'all was kids, and I am tired of trying to stop it. So when y'all are ready to hear what I have to say, let me know. Tanya, you are insane. You want to know what's insane, Terry? Your wife being banned from every buffet in the state of Texas because she decided to wipe one out in Houston. I mean, she cleared out the entire restaurant and then had the audacity to ask the employees to fill up more food trays. I mean, bitch, how about you throw some of it back up? Another thing I shared with only you, Tara. You did. And it's my fault for thinking that I could share your business with our sisters in confidence. I won't do it again. Y'all keep going. I love the abuse. Shut up, Tommy. You are literally the youngest and the dumbest. And mama's favorite. Mama, don't forget that Tara and Tamika slept with your ex-husband, Earl. Did you know that Earl was your real daddy and told mama to get rid of you when she found out she was pregnant with you? You look lost. She never told you that Earl was your real daddy? No? Oh, Tamika. What are you talking about? We all have the same daddy. You sound crazy. Our father died before your ass was conceived. Mama, she's lying. Tell her. Tell her she's lying. Oh, Tammy, you look hurt. Go ahead and tell him that the man that you accused me of Tara sleeping with was his real daddy. And also tell him that he never claimed him or loved him. You know what, Tamika? You are your mother's daughter. Whether you want to accept it or not, you and me are just the same. I have stage three cancer. I do hope that little information brings y'all all together. Have a good day. Now that we're all gathered here today, I have some news I'd like to share. Well, before you do that, Mama, we all would just like to apologize to you. Who is we? Mama, we have been so selfish. And we completely forgot that you went through so much to keep a roof over our heads. Did she? You have done the best you could. And for that, we appreciate you. Ma, I don't know that much about cancer. 
but I know that we're all in this with you and we're gonna get through this. Oh, my babies. I love y'all. Now, Tamika, you said you had something you wanted to share. I went to mama's doctor the other day to, you know, find out what exactly was said because I had some questions, comments, and concerns. And of course he couldn't share anything because of doctor patient confidentiality. But what he did say was that mama had lumps and they were all benign. Yeah. So, Mama, what was your goal here? Did you think you were going to get some sympathy from us? Let me get this straight. You went to Mama's doctor after she told us she had cancer? Yes. You have to be the most fucked up individual I have ever met, Tamika. What? Tamika, Mama is dying. And instead of you coming together with us, you want to be a hateful bitch and embarrass her? <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. This must already be hard for mama. And here you go trying to make it worse for her. Sis, who hurt you? Who hurt her? Hmm. It could be the lies she has told us about mama's ex-husband Earl coming on to her when really she was coming on to him. Now, Terry, I have let that go. I know, mama, but Tamika has put you through a lot. Tara, you're going to sit there and let this man who is married to an overweight, endangered species say that to me? Hey, my wife may be out of shape, but at least she's happy, unlike you. <laughs> when your husband is feeding you 10 to 15 meals a day and wiping your ass because you can't reach past your belly button, I'd be happy too. Really, Tamika? You are the oldest. And you need to be trying to figure out a way to make this easier for mama. But instead, you're over here arguing with Terry. What is happening right now? I believe your siblings are starting to see past your bullshit, Tamika. Now, I don't know who Benign is, but that bitch is lying. I have titty cancer. Ugh, it is an insult to people who actually have cancer. I hate that. I hate that you have to result this low for some damn sympathy, money, or whatever you're after. Prove it. Prove that you have cancer. Mama! <gasps> nice try, Mama. But you've always been bald-headed. Your hair has never been able to grow past an inch. Those naps have been there since Martin Luther King, not because of some fake-ass cancer. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mama is full of shit. And y'all know that. When I drop dead, I hope it brings you the peace you need, Tamika. Mm -hmm. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Asshole. Bitch. Miserable bitch. I am so disappointed in you, Tamika. Don't come around when something does happen to mama. And don't call us for updates. We're done with you. Consider yourself an only child.